Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm here with Mark from Stratasys. How are you doing, Mark? Pretty good. You, Jeff? I'm all right. So can you explain some of the stuff that we have here today? Um, yeah, here we have a whole array of different FDM parts we've produced on our Fortis 450MC uh, machine system. So these are all FDM, which is an extrusion-based technology. We're extruding a thermoplastic filament and building parts up one layer at a time that way. And I noticed that you had a, a fully assembly part here. So how many parts uh, did you have to print and assemble this together to make this? Well, Jeff, what's a little bit unique about our process is we actually have a soluble support material. So when that leaves the printer, it actually looks a little bit more like this part here. And then all of this white material we see here is a support matrix that dissolves in a sodium hydroxide-based solution. So typically how it would work is this part uh, would get thrown into a tank for a few hours and then finally with zero labor invested we pull this out a few hours later working so this I printed this in one part it didn't have an assembly or it didn't have you know it wasn't assembled per se it just printed in place and then freed up and moved and what are some of the tolerances that you have that you would have to design into a part like this that's assembled um, and has to be dissolved in between? A general rule of thumb is we like to say put ten thousandths of an inch clearance between moving parts and that's going to give you the uh, freedom to not have them fused together after the support removal process is complete. Excellent. And uh, what is this part here? Um, this part's pretty interesting. It's actually a manufacturing, uh, it's a ro robotic end of arm tooling. And what this does is it holds this carbon fiber component uh, during a water jet trimming operation. And what I really think is unique about this is that the, originally the manufacturer was thinking of producing this in a, as a steel tool. I think it was uh, about 18 pounds just in the end of arm part here. Wow. And the interesting part is that was uh, having them to increase the size of the robot that they were having do the machine operation. So building it in this uh, component here, not only was it much cheaper to produce than machining it out of a steel tool, um, we were able to produce it much faster than machining it out of a steel tool, and it ultimately allowed them to get a smaller, less expensive robot to perform the manufacturing operation. Excellent. And if someone wanted more information on this type of technology, where could they go? Um, Stratasys.com pretty much has everything related to all of our different uh, sit machine systems, our different materials, all their mechanical properties, and various different applications that uh, our machines are known to uh, support. Excellent. Thank you for your time.